welcome back to my channel. Or if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Kinsey. I film a lot of vlogs, a lot of routine videos. You guys will get the gist. I recently filmed an in-depth morning routine, and so now I'm going to be filming my in-depth night routine. I'm kind of brain dead at the end of the day, and I'm just tired, and for whatever reason, I'm really irritable right now. I'm gonna go decompress upstairs. This is really like my Monday at night routine. This is the night that I'm always home by myself. Basically a single weeknight night routine. I'm honestly more in to my night routine than I even am into my morning routine. I love cooking. I love the beverages that I have. I love my reading routine. A nice like hot bath. Like oh, 10 out of 10. Okay so anyways I'm gonna go change into something more comfortable and just decompress and lay upstairs so that no one can bother me. But I already live alone so no one can really bother me here and somehow they still are today. I just don't know what's wrong with me. Normally I'm a lot more friendly. I don't know what's up. I just changed into these bottoms. They are from Stars Below from Target. They are just the most, I have water in me, the most comfortable pair of pants. How did I, if you guys are wondering how I did this, I accidentally just spilled water all over my dresser and onto my pants. I have my classic Ugg slippers. I'll normally change into something like more cozy to be at home in and then I'll change into a matching pair of pajamas. Honestly, I need to just lay down and decompress for a bit. So I'll sit here and watch TikTok for like 20 minutes and then I'll go downstairs and cook dinner. My bedroom is just so calm and so zen. Oh my God, I can take you through my hatch like night routine alarm clock tonight like this is a very exciting video guys so anyways i also need to charge my phone so i think i'm just very tired because for whatever reason i just don't feel like myself but i need these nights so bad now i'm making dinner i make dinner pretty early it's currently 6 22 i love cooking so at night i'm not on my phone at all being on my phone just gives me anxiety like i really just don't want to look at it even to look at a recipe it annoys me and i just like don't want to think about work and i want to just truly like zone out i'll normally listen to a texas country the texas country playlist that i listen to in my in-depth morning routine or i'll put on netflix like friday night lights sometimes i'll watch a video podcast but for the most part i don't even watch youtube at night anymore just because i don't even want to think about anything like related work-wise i just want like a whole other situation you know i need to set the vibe of downstairs which is incredibly important so i will play my playlist normally but tonight friday night light and i make sure i light all the candles so the house just smells incredible i'll also straighten up just a few of these pieces things with the dogs have messed up make sure it's clean um for now i'm gonna put the fireplace on so cozy you know Okay, by the way, this fireplace that I have, would recommend it. I just don't like it in my house. I'm also redoing the entire house downstairs, so it doesn't really matter anyways. It's just too small, not the size. I got too excited. I purchased too quick. It is from Target, though. It was around, like, $500. It's obviously um, electric. If you were looking for a fireplace, though, I definitely do really like it. Um, and for the candles, I have the volcano candle and then the other candle, hello, which just likes attention. Um, the other candle was a gift. It's just, like, a random one, but I always have volcano candles on hand because I just love that smell. Hi Fitz. And Fitz is a golden doodle and Coco is a morky. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Come here bub. This is what I also I really like to spend some time with the dogs. My night routine is all about relaxing and feeling calm. No stress, no cortisol, just nothing but relaxing. These dogs either really calm me down or really stress me out. At night though, they're typically pretty good. I love you. I love you. Time for Netflix tonight. What are you guys currently watching? Like, what should I start after this? Okay, so what I'm making for dinner has been my go-to recipe lately. I am obsessed with it. Like, I don't even think it looks that good until you have it and you're like, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever had. So you need chicken stock, water, onion, lemon, garlic, which I forgot to get out, chicken breast. Um, you need long grain white rice, carrots, celery, and chopped kale. They use spinach. I just like kale better in things.
Okay, start by sauteing the onions and then adding garlic. Um, this is from Trader Joe's also. I'm sure you guys will ask because this is so cute. This is Urban Outfitters. It's just a bottle opener. I don't use this on Monday night, but I do have it out just because I think it's cute. This I normally don't even have out, so. This is a very realistic Monday night in my life because I am very tired. Anyways, I'm lazy. I just add in minced garlic. I'm not going to cut garlic every time I cook. It's just not happening. So it's like the one thing I really, really hate doing. So anyways, you're gonna saute the onions for about five minutes until they're translucent. Add in some garlic. My eyes are really sensitive now. Then we're gonna add in six cups of chicken broth, four cups of water, bring that to a boil, add in the chicken breast and the rice at the same time. So take the chicken out, shred it. Oh my God, my eyes. And then when you put the chicken back in, you'll add in the rest. So like the carrots, the celery, salt, pepper, my eyes. And then you'll let it simmer for 15 minutes and then add in the kale and then you are good to go. All right, I just added in the garlic. I will link this below. I forget where it's from, but it is my most used thing in my kitchen because I love making soups and pastas and stuff. I really want the Our Place pot now. I use this probably like three times a week at least. It's the best. It literally looks like I'm crying because my eyes are so sensitive right now. So you're gonna bring this to a boil and add in one cup of rice and then all of the chicken. So this will boil and again, cook the chicken. It like feels weird to cook chicken with other things, but it's really good, I promise. Also, as far as ingredients go, like typically when I'm making soup besides this one, I'll go for like a bone broth, a healthier bone broth. I just am not doing that with this one. I try to buy organic when I can. I'm not crazy particular on ingredients or anything like that, but anyways, this will sit and cook. Trust me, all right? An incredibly important part of my night is my nice little beverage of choice. I'm not a crazy wine lover. Mainly, I actually just don't really feel the need to drink wine throughout the week. I like it but I just like don't really care. I love these recess drinks and I also like Better Brewed Kombucha. Those are kind of the two that I alternate between but I'll typically put ice in a wine glass and then do a recess one. I need the mood lifter, all right? But they help me so much like to calm down, to feel better. Just overall the experience is like 10 out of 10. I'm gonna wait for the chicken to cook. I'm gonna have some mango and drink my recess drink and then watch obviously Friday Night Lights. All right, it's now time to start chopping up my vegetables. Very, you know, Martha Stewart of me. Check on this just to make sure. Doesn't it just seem weird that the rice, I, I just, I know I do this all the time, but it still feels weird, you know? shredded the chicken so I'm gonna put all of the chicken back in here and then I'm gonna add all the vegetables dun, dun, dun. So I'm bringing this to a simmer. I'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes before I put in the rest of the kale. During this time, I'll typically do all the dishes. I hate having dishes and just, I go crazy without a clean kitchen. So I use this time to clean up and get ready, um, but I'm gonna set a timer. finished made my own bowl put this in the best container I'll talk about it in a second but I'm already cleaning this um, I just cannot stand dishes so immediately it has to go in so I'm not gonna put the top on yet because it's still cooling off I will link these below especially if you make the recipes that I like share this is the perfect size for soups it holds so much and I use them all the time I have two of them and I just alternate between the two they're always in use honestly if you need like these are my biggest kitchen staples ever so I will link these below All right, I finished dinner. It was so good. I'm gonna go take the dogs out for their last little walk of the night, and then we're getting closer to my favorite part of the day. <sighs> All 
All right, I'm making some tea to take upstairs with me. This is the tea I'm making. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. I love this brand of tea, but I don't normally do this peppermint. So this is just something I'm adding today, and I think I want to get back into because it just really helps me wind down at the end of the night. I have this room like fragrance spray. It smells so good. So I always spray this throughout my room. I always buy, I think this is only like 30 bucks, but it honestly lasts me a while and I use it all the time. It works better than a candle. I mean, this stuff is so good. Coco, butter food on my bed. Coco, are you kidding? All right, it is now time for me to pick out my pajamas of the night. This entire dresser, five of the six drawers um, are full of pajamas. I'm not kidding, like that is actually how many I have. But my favorite ones are the Skims ones, and honestly, I'm pretty sure, no, oh my God, I have them, perfect. All right, so these pajamas are Skims. I will link them below. I have these in a size small and the gray ones in a size medium. And I will say I prefer the size medium, and I'm between like a size small and medium typically, but if you think you're around my size. Okay, if you're gonna order these, maybe size up. I say that, but like I am kind of a medium too. Like I, I go between the two, so. Anyways, I hope that helped. They are the Cotton Roots pajamas. I just remember they're the best pajamas there's ever been. And trust me, I know the whole dresser full of them. I wear a matching pajama set to bed like every night. I already showered before filming this video, so I'm not going to take another like bath. I'm really tired tonight. I wonder my hair from being in the clip, guys. Wow, wow. But when I do take my nice, relaxing bath, I love using the Buff City Soap Epsom Soak, Salt Soak, um, and the Oatmeal and Honey. I love Buff City Soap. Recently, I've found so many products from them that I love. I also love that they have the Oatmeal and Honey scent because I grew up with that as our like, shampoos and conditioners at home. So it's just very like nostalgic, you know? Now, moving on to nighttime skincare. This kind of changes just depending on what I feel like I need. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the Purity Face Cleanser. I ran out of my stuff and this is just what I've had and been using. I'll typically use the Inkyos Cleanser or the Curology Cleanser. Actually, wait, nope, I have my Curology back. I'm using my Curology Cleanser. I love their stuff. I just double cleanse to get my makeup off and then clean my face. Or wash my face. Fitz is just really interested in my skincare routine, clearly. Um, but tonight I'm gonna use the Rin Evercalm Overnight Recovery Balm. It's for sensitive skin. It's like this really thick consistency. When I feel like my skin is dry, which it's been very dry this winter. This is way too much, by the way. I like lathering this on. Sometimes I'll use the same products that I use in the morning, just my hyaluronic acid and the Summer Fridays. Heavenly face oil, I love that stuff. And then when I do that, I'll typically use my Lux Unfiltered, like, um, self tanner drops to self tan my face, but I mean I'm like literally lathered in this stuff right now. It's a bomb too, so I'm just gonna. I brought a wake up tomorrow, looking incredible, very hydrated. To brush my teeth, I use my brush and then just like an Arm and Hammer toothpaste. I used to use this one that was way better for you when I ran out and I need to order it again. The pups are truly just ready for bed. So it is now probably like 8.30 p.m. Again, this is my true, yeah, 8.36 p.m. Look at that. My ideal time to get into bed. You have no idea. My tea is still hot. Bedding is from Target. Sheets are from Target. I have this blanket, guys, that we need to talk about. I'm forgetting the name of it, but I will link it below. It's a weighted anxiety blanket, but it's a cooling one, so it doesn't get too hot. It has changed my life. Whenever I'm anxious, I just lay in bed, and I feel so much better. There's also, like, a science to it. I don't know the exact science off the top of my head. I didn't even realize it before the first time I used this. I swear to God, I was like, why do I feel so much better right now? Like, happier? And then I read on their Instagram. Instagram and there's like some sort of science behind it. I don't know. Anyways, okay, it is a great price. It's just like one of the best things I have ever had. I quite literally use it obviously every single day and I just, I'm obsessed with it. So anyways, I will link it below. So hair clip, 
it's coming off. I have my Laneige lip balm. I keep this on my nightstand because I'm constantly reapplying it. It's technically a lip sleeping mask, but I just use it as lip balm. It is one of my top favorite lip products ever. I feel the same way about lip products as I do about pajamas. And I have my tea. I just feel so cozy. This is the part of the night that matters the most to me. Let me turn the light on. This is going into my reading routine. This is the most consistent part of my day every single day over even a morning routine because my routines will switch up but the one thing I do before bed always is read. I was up talking to my friends on Saturday night until like 4 a.m. and I still read before bed. Like it is my most consistent thing. If you ever need book recs, if you have questions about the Kindle, go on my Instagram, I have highlights and then I also have like in-feed posts of um, like book recs, what I read in January, um, Colleen Hoover rankings, things like that. Tonight I'm going to be finishing the Running Wild novel. It is the fourth book in the Simple Wild series, which I loved. Like I read the first three books in three days. They're so good. And then I'm actually gonna be starting a new book because I know I'm gonna finish that tonight um, And I already downloaded it on Kindle So but what I do once I start reading my Kindle I turn my phone like face down on my nightstand I don't sleep with it away from my bed, which I could do I'm like fine with it on my nightstand and I don't check it until the next day So I need to turn the lights off I have remote controls for these light bulbs that like change the color and everything that I used to use all the time If someone stayed in my house and I cannot find the remotes anywhere so I no longer really do like the red light stuff because I just have been lazy. So I'll turn that off. All right, this is when I go to my hatcher store. I make sure my alarm clock is on for the next day. 7 a.m., bright and early. So this is my bedtime routine with the hatcher store alarm clock, by the way. This is what I'm talking about. It is incredible. So once it starts, it goes to warm white reading light and then there's a wind down with sounds a light rain finding stillness and then light rain throughout the night you guys will see it i'll show you um once like i actually said it and then i typically will read longer than this but it doesn't matter because i have a kindle so if it's pitch black it doesn't make a difference so now i will show you guys what happens we're turning the light off and then we're gonna hit warm white and it'll go to this and over time it's going to dim more and then there'll be music so this is when my phone goes face down and away for the rest of the night i won't even touch it for hours honestly i don't really know how i got here i just started doing it and now touching my phone makes me anxious so i just like have no desire All right, it is 9.43. The waves are playing on the Hatcher store. I just finished my book and I'm so sad that I'm done with the series. I love that series so much, I'm just so sad. I'm gonna keep reading on to the next book. I'm reading another one by K.A. Tucker. Um, I love that series, so I'm just gonna stick with that author for now. My alarm clock light will eventually just dim completely and then there will be like very, very subtle waves and I will fall asleep. So that is it for my in-depth night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and comment what time you guys wake up in the morning. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And one day, I really did just wake up and notice how much it changed and how much I had changed for the better and gotten so much stronger and more confident in who I am.